Hey, what's up? I'm Andrew with Field Treasure Design. So this is part three, the last video in my Ron Polk workbench video series that I've made. And this one details how I made my table saw shelf platform that I can set my table saw on and it can serve as an awesome out feed table. And so it's custom to my DeWalt DW745 table saw, but hopefully if you have a different one, you can kind of adopt the same principles, but just change the measurements to make your own. So I'd love to show you how I built it. So check this out. The first step was to cut my pipes into six foot lengths. Since I didn't have a metal cutting bandsaw, I used my friends at his shop. Next, I needed to drill a hole on the end of each pipe so I could put a bolt through it as the stop. If you notice, I put a little bit of oil on the spot that I'm drilling just to make sure that bit doesn't blow out. A quick test fit just to make sure the bolt fits, and yes, we are in business. I ended up using longer bolts just to have more thread. Ready to take them back to my shop? When I got back to the shop, I slid the pipes into the workbench and then threaded the bolts into the pipe. Then I tightened the nut to complete it, and this serves as a perfect stop when you go to pull out your pipes. Now we begin building the shelf for the table saw. I started by grabbing half inch plywood to cut it into strips to serve as the mounting brackets. So now I need to take them to my table saw and rip them down to two inch width. So that way they're 18 inches long by two inches wide. By the way, all the measurements that I give you in this video are specific to my table saw shown here, the DeWalt DW745. You may need to adjust based upon your specific table saw. Next, I needed to cut a 45 degree angle on just half of each edge of the outside plywood pieces. So that means four of them are going to have a little 45 degree angle on them. That way when they're glued up, they'll create an angle, an arch almost, to hang onto those pipes. I'll show you that here in a second. I'm using the Micro J grippers here and it works perfectly for this application. Okay, it's time for the glue up. Now you can see where that angle is coming into play. There's an angle on the outside of each and then the inside board was cut just a little bit shorter to allow for that round kind of radius so that they can rest on the pipes. And now it's just a matter of doing the glue up. Once I got both sets glued up, I just grabbed some clamps and lock them in place. After I let them dry overnight, it was time to test them out and see how they fit. Next, I cut the sides for the shelf. I'm cutting three quarter inch plywood to 18 inches length. Then I took them to my table saw to rip them down to 11 and one quarter inch width. Then I attached each side to its mounting bracket. I didn't glue it this time because I wanted to be able to take it apart as I fine tuned it before I did the final glue up. Here I'm using clamps to hold the pieces together while I screw them together. I didn't figure out a better way to do this until later, which I'll show you. After I was done, I did a quick test and then I grabbed my level to straighten them out so I could get that bottom shelf measurement perfect. I held pressure on the level while I grabbed my tape measure and took the measurement. I grabbed some more three quarter inch plywood and cut it to 29 and a half inches length. Then I did another test assembly by screwing in the bottom from underneath. Now it's time for the first official test. Boom, success. And now for the table saw. Yes, it fits in there perfectly. I grabbed my level to see how the outfeed would work. As you can see, it's a little low. Now you can do this and just shim up your table saw, but I wanted it to be perfect. So I grabbed a piece of scrap and marked how much overhang I had. I took a little bit off the size and then reassembled it. And now it's time to test it again. The sides also have to be small enough to fit within the rails of the fence system. Sweet, just a little bit of drop as it goes across the table, which is what I wanted. 
After I was sure the height was right, it was time to make my actual bottom. So what was fun is I got to use my setup and test out the outfeed table for real. Here I'm ripping it down to 18 inches wide. Then I took it over to my miter saw to cut it at 29 and a half inches long. Now I had to flip the board over and make a second cut, which is pretty unconventional, but it got the job done. I wanted to put a square cut out in the bottom so that some of the sawdust would fall all the way to the ground and not pile up under the table saw. So here I'm tracing a square. Once I got my corners done, I grabbed that same hole saw that I had used on the Polk workbench sides to cut out each corner. Then I grabbed my jigsaw to cut the straight edges. I then used a one quarter inch round over bit to go over all of those edges and smooth them out. I used my random orbital sander to make everything smooth using 220 grit sandpaper. Because I had raised the height of the shelf to allow for the outfeed table to work, I had to extend each side over the top with just a little overhang. So I grabbed my router with a straight bit and a ball bearing guide to help me smooth it out. Now it's time to do the final assembly with glue. I drew a quick line just to help me eyeball where the glue needs to go. Last time I assembled these, I used clamps, but this time it was a much easier way by laying one on top of the other to keep the height the same. That way I could drill straight down to attach them. Since I had already had these attached before, I had some pre-existing holes, but then I wanted to add a few more screws, so I made sure to do pilot holes first. Then I just repeated the process for the second one. By the way, you may have noticed that this looks like a total scrap piece of board with all of the stain and paint on it. That is totally right. I knew from the beginning that I was gonna paint it and so I thought, why have it go to waste? After I was done, it was time to attach the bottom. So here I'm gonna set them up on their sides and then glue each side. Since I'm so near an edge, I wanted to make sure and do pilot holes first. I grabbed a piece of scrap three quarter inch plywood and drew a line just so I can make sure and put my holes and my screws in the dead center of the workpiece. And done. I let it dry overnight and then I painted it. I wanted to have some fun with it, so I did black and yellow for the DeWall colors. Setting the table saw in was pretty satisfying at this point. Yes, the outfeed table has a slight drop when it's all said and done, which is perfect. And there it is, the table saw outfeed shelf. Well, this concludes my three-part video series on how to build the Ron Polk workbench. I hope it inspired you or helped you build your own. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button or throw me a like. We'll see you next time.